smoking the tires at the Full Earth Workshop. Hi, this is Doug. This week we're doing something that I haven't seen done before. We are going to create a 124 vintage type slot car from one of my favorite show cars ever, Dragula. Child star Butch Patrick has one. He'll explain it to you. Well, this is the Dragula. This was introduced to the Munster episode Hot Rod Herman when Herman lost the Munster coach at the drag strip and Grandpa built the car to win the uh, Munster coach back. Lots of replicas of this car have been built over the years, but this was actually number three built by George Barris. You can see it's been signed by him and also a few cast members from the Munsters. Well, it's almost impossible to be a fan of 60s heavy metal and not love this one. This was a 289 engine that you nearly straddle on the inside of this car. The original on-screen car was actually built from a casket. Later on, yeah, they were made from fiberglass. One of the goals of this build is to try to make it from as many vintage parts that make sense and look really good. And this chassis looks great. It's made of brass rail and soldered and as simple as possible with a can motor from the 60s. We're gonna try to make the body out of nothing but styrene and brass. Uh, many people have seen the AMT model that was made in 124th scale, but you know, it's not a great model. I think we can do better just uh, scratch building this thing. The AMT model also tends to be kind of expensive, so we're going to forego that cost. I do have one part from original model that I'll show you a little bit later on. We're going to use these slicks from H&R Racing, and of course we pulled them from one of our favorite vendors, which is Electric Dreams. Very friendly people there. When you turn these slicks inside out, you can see one of the reasons they're so soft, there's a nice little hollow section in there that allows these things to really be greasy and mean on the track. We also made sure that they're a rather narrow tire to match the original one-to-one -one prototype. The axle we're going to be using is a 1 8 diameter one, and it's also vintage, I believe, from Strombecker. I originally planned to use this vintage crown gear from Cox, but it has a few too few teeth and won't engage, so we'll have to get one maybe in the 30 to 40 tooth range. Now remember, this is not going to be a state-of-the-art dragster. I mean, the ones that are being built nowadays are amazing. Now this is going to be a vintage ride, and maybe even more of a shelf queen than a dragster. And now that I say that, I do veer off course right away with a carbon fiber imbibed guide flag. There we go. We're not doing real spokes at this scale, but we are doing these really cool CNC aluminum front wheels with some nifty O-rings as tires. As we take a look at the scale of both the front and the rear tires, you can see they're just about the right size, especially when we compare them to images made in the 60s of Dragula. Considering the character of this car, we're laying out all the parts like they were a skeleton. Now, do you remember that I said I had one original part from the Dragula AMT model? This is it. Found it for five bucks on eBay, and I figured instead of trying to make it on my own, it's well worth it to try to get a head start in this area. And now for the parts that I found the most exciting to find. Look at these front end suspension parts that are cast from white metal. <laughs> awesome. Parts like this would normally be missing from the front end of Dragula because they just wouldn't be strong enough. But hey, here's a new idea and we're going to roll with it. I really recommend if you're starting any kind of a vintage build like this, you get a lot of photographs online. And it's actually pretty simple for this car because it's so well known. But here you can tell, hey, what is the scale between the front wheels and the back wheels? Do I have enough space to be able to do the casket portion and the front slab portion? And I think we do. I'm going to try to make those organ pipe exhausts out of brass and the classic gas tank either out of brass or out of ABS. And we'll try to make that cool engine out of styrene as well and spray it with something that looks very chrome. Can you feel it? Hey, make sure you get on board. The next time we come around, episode two is next.